Hello tennis players! I haven't posted a video on this YouTube channel for a while, so in this video expect a quick update about my tennis activities, as well as a review and my experiences with the world's first moving tennis ball launcher, the Sportbot Tennis Robot. So first, to address the question that many of you had, why have I been absent from my YouTube channel? It mostly has to do with me being extremely busy, mostly with the consulting work about tennis equipment that I do with various levels of tennis players, as well as a very interesting research and development project in tennis that I've been working on for the past two years. So stay tuned for that. And now let's dive in to the review of the Sportbot Tennis Robot. If you'd like the full written review, make sure to check it out on my blog at impactingtennis.com. But in this video I'll dive deeper into my experiences with the Sportbot while you can see some of the footage from my session. I had the privilege of meeting Tony, the creator of Sportbot, through some mutual friends. As it turns out, Tony and I studied engineering at the same school, though it's unfortunate that I only recently learned about his groundbreaking project. Tony is an engineer from Slovenia like me who's using his expertise to revolutionize tennis training. His vision for the sport bot wasn't to create just another ball machine, but to design a tool that embodies precision, adaptability and mechanical innovation. It's rare to meet someone who shares the same passion for advancing tennis through engineering, so I'm thrilled to showcase his creation in action. Here you can already see the robot giving me quite the workout, moving me around the court and making me hit balls on the run. And let me say that I couldn't keep up with even faster settings, so these were the fastest settings that I tried. The sport bot also lets you customize many variables like speed, spin, trajectory, depth and patterns of play. Here the robot is also moving around the court, feeding the balls to me from different parts of the court from different angles. Tony has engineered a machine that feels like you're training with a professional partner, offering all the consistency of a robot but with the flexibility of a coach who understands your goals. Couple that with a real coach who programs your app and you'll get some excellent results. Here I'm testing out its top spin delivery. As you can see the consistency is remarkable and that's what enables you to isolate specific aspects of your game or test how your racket specifications perform in certain scenarios. For this drill I also really needed to focus on my footwork to keep up with the frequency of the ball feed. I also realized that this can be used for some serious high-intensity interval training because the frequency of the ball coming at you left and right can be made a lot higher than what you can achieve with the best sparring partners you can find. And also, of course, the consistency can be compared. For the work that I do with players and tennis equipment, the best use case for a tool like this is its programmability and consistency. As you can try out the exact strokes and patterns of plays with different rackets and racket specifications and then compare your execution and ball output while analyzing the video and other data later. I can imagine many coaches and academies would also use such a tool for racket optimization purposes. For the next drill we set up a pattern of play with baseline strokes, an approach shot and volleys. I really wish I had more time to get more familiar with the app and how I can set up custom drills and see what's possible. I know Tony is constantly working on the app and improving the user experience, but for me the important part is the actual robot and based on what I saw the possibilities with the app are endless. If you have any questions or want to share your own experiences with training technology, drop a comment below. Until next time, keep hitting keep improving and keep pushing the limits of what's possible.